Hey guys, so back in the shop here this morning, we can finally start forging the blade. Okay guys, whilst the neighbor dog barks, let me talk to you a little bit about what, uh, we've, what we've got so far in this uh, Santoku style kitchen blade. So this is uh, all forge, uh, forging and no grinding. The only other thing that I've done is put the handle holes, uh, handle uh, bolt holes and chamfer at the edges. Everything else is nothing but heat and hammer. So you can see the tang is tapered here, and there's a couple reasons I like to do that. One, you save on stock, which when it comes to uh, Damascus steel you've spent hours making, that's kind of nice to conserve that as much as possible. Secondly, it helps balance the blade on the finished product, and it kind of looks cool as well. The uh, bevel is forged in, and you can see it's, oh, I'd say about 16th of an inch, maybe a little bit more. Um, along the edge there and that's uh, still plenty of stock to allow for decarburization scale and that kind of thing as we move forward 
There's a little bit of a distal taper to the blade, and there's I'm gonna I'll end up grinding in a little bit more. The handle has a nice upswept or a little kick to it, and that allows um, you to use the blade, use the knife with good knuckle clearance, even though the blade itself is not terribly deep or high. It also just makes it look better, I think, too. So I will be cleaning up the profile a little bit on the grinder and so forth, but the next step is to normalize this blade. Normalizing is an essential step in building a quality blade. So after you forge the blade, as I mentioned earlier, you put it under tremendous amounts of stress. One of the things that normalizing does is greatly relieves the internal stress of the steel. You are working it at very high heats, which explodes or enlarges the grain structure. This is unavoidable since you have to work it at such heats in order to avoid damaging the steel but it is important to correct that after you finished forging the blade. So I like to normalize my forged blades four times. So I'm gonna put this back into the kiln. Now let's cool down to a black heat. All right guys, so I finished all four normalizing cycles on this blade, and the next step is to rough grind it, heat treat it, finish grind it. There's a lot more to do on it. So I really appreciate you guys coming along on this little project, and uh, hopefully the videos have been entertaining and informative so appreciate the support if you haven't subscribed yet please do so thanks for watching and have a great day do you want to melt a snowman run a box around the hall